Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a part two of my home decor video series and I'm just gonna take you guys through. So let's just jump in. Basically our setup here where we had all of our homeschool stuff was just not working for us. It was way too spread out. Um, and it just it just wasn't functioning. Obviously, you can see that we just have the shelf here where stuff is gathering um, And we're gonna throw it back a little bit because I did start recording this footage Probably back in like October November when I started doing the living room makeover as well So this video is going to contain just sort of a catch-up on everything I've been doing um, to make over the house and get it sort of how we want it to be. So you're gonna see obviously some older footage and stuff in here as well, but I'm just gonna take y'all through all the projects I've been doing. And that's kind of how I'm gonna move forward is just videos of projects. Instead of waiting until one whole room is complete, because that takes a long time, is I'm just gonna share with you the projects I've been working on um, during that chunk of time. So these are all before shots of the living room, uh, our entryway area, and like I said, like the homeschool stuff. I've been stolen here long enough, I can't win anymore. It's a shot in the dark, and the odds are stacked. Baby, you hit me so hard, like a heart attack. She may be out of my league, I may be out of my mind. But I'm ready to jump now, I'm ready to fly. So if the planets align and the stars, they shine just right. I might take you home tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight is the night. Tonight, tonight, tonight is my night. Tonight, tonight, tonight is the night. Oh, tonight, tonight, tonight. I did decide to um, paint the living room white. My initial thought here was that our ceilings are very low in the living room area. I'm in through the center of the house because this is all part of the original house that was built in the 1930s. So ceilings are very, very low. And I thought, you know, visually, if I could brighten the room up and do, um, you know, more of, you can see I did test colors there on the left, but if I could just really brighten the room up and then there's wood trim around the top and I decided to paint that white as well so that there was nothing to break up um, the, the colors in the room basically to make it look taller. Now this room um, is the entryway and this has more of like a vaulted ceiling. I'm not sure the exact height on it, but it's more of a vaulted ceiling. And so I figured I could go with a darker color in here and um, I will list the colors down below in the description box. I believe this one is called Booth Bay Gray by Benjamin Moore. Um, it is more of a, obviously like sort of like a steel blue color. Um, I'm not sure if I, I, I like it. I'm not sure if I love it. So you can kind of see the white that's in the living room. I do not remember off the top of my head which white I ended up going with, so I will put that down below in the description box as well. Um, but I've had sort of a change of heart. So this, like I said, this is old footage. So this is from the fall. And this is when I was still thinking that I was gonna try to you know, sort of decorate the whole house in that um, French country modern vibe. And I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. So I don't know if that blue will end up staying for the long term, but now we're popping more into real time. And this part is just, I'm just emptying all of these shelves because I have decided where I want to move these to and how I want to use them. And, you know, I buy furniture for certain areas. And then if I don't like it, my goal is always to be able to use it somewhere else um, and sort of repurpose it. And this actually worked out perfectly. I ended up moving one of these cabinets to our master bedroom and one of them to a different area of the kitchen where I could hide stuff inside of it. Um, so this is basically all of my mess from emptying out the homeschool cabinet. Um, there's just tons and tons of books and curriculum and stuff like that. And this cabinet um, was never intended to go here, but we stuck it here while we were waiting to move furniture around and it ended up getting filled up with homeschool stuff as well. <laughs> so uh, this again, same thing with this bookshelf. I thought it might work over here, but it's just way too open and exposed. Um, so that's why we ended up moving this cabinet over here um, because I can sort of put decorative things on the left hand side and then on the right hand side I can put things like our air fryer and um, 
you know, the instant pot and things that I don't want to be seen. And then um, I can kind of decorate the top. I didn't end up finishing all of that so you won't see the final reveal of that in today's video. Um, but I did end up bringing the armoire from my last decor video out of our bedroom. And I decided to use this as a homeschool cabinet because what I really wanted was a cabinet that you couldn't see inside of. Uh, I just, I like things to be visually not cluttery um, and so being able to see all the books and everything right there in the middle of our kitchen it just visually I didn't like it so I wanted a closed cabinet so I ended up moving that one out and then we decided to make this little area which we've not really known what to do with um, a sitting area and it's actually worked out really really well now long term I might end up doing different chairs but like I said I just want to work with what we have so these chairs came from the playroom the lamp came from my bedroom um, and I, I like it. I like how it turned out. So you'll see the final reveal of all of those areas at the end. So this cabinet is the one that goes with the, the green one that I just showed you. Um, it started out as a blue color, like that same powder blue. And I did the white Annie Sloan chalk paint over it. And I kept trying to use different waxes and different finishes because I just didn't like the stark white. Um, but I didn't end up liking any of it so basically now you're seeing me painting in our master bedroom because i had tried to use some of that wall paint on top of the um the cabinet out there in the living room to you know sort of make it look more you know beat up or whatever and i didn't like how it looked so i didn't want to waste that paint so i went ahead and started trimming out the master bedroom so that i didn't waste the paint and now we're back to the cabinet I ended up saying, you know what? How about I just go with the green? I love the green. It's the same green I used on the other cabinet. Absolutely loved it. Um, I decided that this one, what I would do is since I'm painting it over the white, um, I would paint it and then kind of rough it up a little bit with a sander and let some of that white through. Uh, and um, I ended up using a matte poly polyurethane as the sealant coat instead of the wax from Annie Sloan. And so this one, I wanted it to feel a little bit more um, rustic and beat up. So the other one is painted pretty solid green and you'll see uh, as we get through that one as well. So these were pieces of furniture that I got from Wayfair and they are unfinished wood. So this is our entry table, a table that we have between the chairs and then you can kind of see to the right of me there a console table or a sofa table. And like I said, these are all unfinished wood. Got a stain here, it's called barn wood. Again, I'll link to everything down below in the description box. Um, and I love how this stain turned out. Absolutely loved it. I mean, especially on that sofa table, y'all will see. I. I, I seriously love it. It ends up looking like a $1,200 sofa table from Pottery Barn and it was not that at all. It was a couple hundred dollars on Wayfair and then like I said, I did the stain and the same matte polyurethane coat over the top um, because I really wanted this to be quite durable um, with all the kids and all that kind of stuff. I just, look at that color, isn't it beautiful? I absolutely love it. So that was the entry table and this is the little end table that goes between a couple of our chairs. So I did them all with the same color and top coat. Cause you heartache And yeah we felt the pain You can call me a liar But baby we're expired There's nothing here to say There's someone for everyone I know yours is out there I've loved you all I know how been living on a prayer and you know that real love ain't really like this 
No second guessing, no bittersweet So why waste any more of our time Working so hard to be just alright Real love ain't really this hard You can't tame to run away hard It's about time we let this go We've held on too long Oh, the good Lord knows Real love ain't really like this, no So after that paint dried overnight, like I said, I just came over with a sander and roughed it up a little bit and then used that same poly to seal it. Um, so I really liked how it turned out and I did end up replacing the knobs on it. Um, I spray painted the long handles with that same matte black that I used on the other piece. And then um, for the smaller pulls, I just went to Hobby Lobby and grabbed some different pulls. Um, I'm using paint thinner right now to clean up all of my messes because apparently I just cannot be bothered to tape. I would just rather clean up after myself. Um, so yeah, I painted the long handles with that same matte black. Um, I didn't want anything shiny, so I used the matte black. And the other project I did was pull this silver mirror from the master bedroom. And I've had this mirror from Ikea for years. And I just used a gold um, spray paint because I wanted it to be gold instead of silver. Um, again, <laughs> I probably could have made better choices in not getting the spray paint on the mirror. I tried to use like a piece of cardboard to block it. That didn't really work all that well. And eventually I just kind of gave up on that and, um, and just let spray paint get on the mirror because all it took was a little a little bit of elbow grease and some paint thinner and all of that came off of it so um, again same thing spray painted with the gold and then used the matte finish clear coat on the top so you can see here the grand reveal I love how this console table turned out I absolutely I just can't even tell you how much I love it um, that barn wood is so beautiful the barn wood stain is just perfect exactly what I was looking for and I'm in no way done decorating, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of the finish there. And then you can see with the cabinet, I ended up changing out those um, round knobs for ones from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna get a mirror to go over this and then hang those pictures and, and decorate as well there. Um, but for now, I just kind of threw everything back on top of it. So I had a mirror that looked great over it and one of the kids accidentally broke it. So I have to find a new mirror, but I love how this cabinet turned out. I'm super happy with the green. I just, I love it. I didn't want all the bright white furniture um, and I would have loved a wood tone, but because the cabinet was blue, there was only so many options um, for painting it and changing it. And I absolutely love this green. It's just one of my favorite um, shades of green. And we still have so much decorating and stuff to do in this room. This is not at all how it's gonna stay, but I just wanted to show you the final result of our little sitting area and the tables. I mean, how we've kind of arranged things. So I really like this little sitting area. We use it a ton. And we did end up changing out the light in here as well to go back with sort of that beaded light fixture that we used to have in our old house that I loved so much. Um, and I just am slowly starting to feel like this house feels like my house. It feels like my style. We use things that I love. And now I feel like I can finally get things done because I'm not trying to force a style that's not really mine. Um, so, yep, you can see the gold matches in there. And I just wanted to show you how the paint turned out in the master. The master is our next big project because we have to do the accent wall and a bunch of things in here. But I just wanted to show you the paint color, which I love. So be sure to stay tuned, come back for more. The master bedroom is up next, but I'm just gonna keep chugging along with different episodes and taking you guys through the different projects we're doing. I hope y'all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Oh,